Otis, it's 12 already. It's already at noon. You're still sleeping. Wake up. Yeah, wake up, Otis. All right, even though Otis is now waking up, let's go outside and uh, let's talk about some stuff. It's quite windy out today. It's not too hot. It was actually kind of cool this morning. It kind of stormed, but it's really windy out. So yeah, this, this upcoming Friday, so tomorrow, is going to be because I'm shooting this on a Thursday, but you'll probably see it on the weekend, so it doesn't make sense, but just pretend with me. So tomorrow for me, um, Friday, it's supposed to, be get, to get like to like 100 degrees, so it's gonna be like really, really hot, which sucks, but I mean, what can you do about the heat? This weekend, we're gonna go camping with the Teardrop Camper. Uh, we're going to a place in Potosi, Iowa. It's right along the river, and it's a really nice campground. I really do enjoy that campground. We're also gonna go tubing and have do some fun stuff. So I'll definitely be filming that for you guys. But I know you guys wonder and you guys see us go on camping trips and bring this camper and stuff, but what's in this camper? What do we need to get ready when we go camping? And how much time does it really take to get this stuff in it, get it ready to go and to set up? So I wanna explain that to you guys in this video today. By the way, before I do that, just before I shot this video, actually last night I went on my community page on my YouTube channel and I posted um, something like, hey, let me know what you guys want to see for the upcoming videos. And only like four of you guys commented on that. So if you guys don't have your notifications on for my channel, make sure you do. Just right below there, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Make sure to click that bell and you'll get notified every time I upload a video or post something on the community page. Just so you guys are in the loop and make sure you guys are getting informed of what I'm doing. Because I'm like, hey, you guys aren't you guys aren't you know staying in touch with me so you got to make sure you click that button right below so I'm in the camper now we left the bed down before so we're gonna probably put the bed up sometimes if we're lazy on Sunday mornings when we wake up um, we just don't put the bed away because we're just too lazy so we end up putting the bed away right before we go camping again so um, I'll put the bed away probably I'll show you guys how we put the bed away because it's really simple um, just so you guys know, we don't live in this. A lot of people at festivals think that we live in this. We don't live in this camper. That'd be really hard to live in this camper. I mean, not saying you couldn't do it, but uh, there'd be definitely some adjustments to the, my lifestyle if I lived in this camper. So I'll show you guys how we put the bed away right now. First step, take the cushions off the plywood. Boom, done. Next step, take the plywood off the boards. Once the plywood is off the boards, we just slide the plywood right underneath there and it stays there. Then we just take the boards off one by one, just simply lift them up and they come right out. The other end goes into a little hole right there and then the other end just sits right there. Really simple setup. We have Velcro, as you can see on the boards and that helps the plywood stick to the boards so we have no troubles at night when we sleep. And the three boards we use are stored right underneath here, right behind the slide out kitchen that slides in there, they're right behind there. That works out good for us, and that's the best spot we've found so far to put them. Put the beds away, we have a bit more room to do some stuff. Um, when we're traveling, everything in here does not look that pretty. Honestly, a lot of stuff is just thrown in here, um, just so we can get going. Uh, but some of the things that we try to put in the same place every time we drive is our little coffee table that you guys see, that's only by the window over here. We put it underneath the cushions back here, um, and that seems to stay up there. A lot of stuff is stored underneath the cushions, like you guys saw. Um, the plywood that for the like, bed extension is stored under the cushion I'm sitting on right now, and different stuff like that. Uh, we have two chairs that just stay right underneath here. Um, our broom, trash can, the cabinet that you guys are sitting on right now um, is not that big of a cabinet, and we kind of put it in here because it was given to us. Uh, but wow, has it been a lifesaver? Everything that is kind of miscellaneous and doesn't have really a place kind of goes in there. We have a little bungee cord that's actually behind the camera that we uh, bungee cord the door shut um, every time we go traveling. And we even have a sticker wall started right on the side of the uh, cabinet from festivals we've gone to. So this cabinet's been pretty awesome and we store a lot of stuff in there. So while we were decorating, um, while my mom was thinking about decorations for this camper when we first originally got it done, we wanted things that looked cool but also served a good purpose. So one of those things was this right here. Um, this thing holds, um, there's a little glass jar that goes in there that's actually in the cabinet right now for uh, travel purposes. But we put our backpacks on here, on these little hooks. Our backpacks go in there. Um, we put a lot of stuff in here. Uh, we have sunglasses in there right now. But that thing holds a ton of stuff and it's kind of a multi-purpose thing. So it looks cool 
but it also serves a purpose too. So that's basically it. I mean, like I said, it's really simple and that's the way we want it. We don't want it to be a very big deal to hook this thing up and go camping because then we won't go camping that often. We want it to be very simple, very quick, very clean, and we want it to hold a lot of stuff. Some things that we don't normally pack because we normally go camping with my family um, are things like a cooler. We don't normally pack a cooler because they have all the food in their camper. Um, food is another thing we don't pack um, because they have food in their camper. So that's some of the you know things that we don't normally pack that we would normally have to pack if we uh, didn't um, have them. The one experience that I do have of just using this solely as the only camper and everything is when we went to Kansas um, for the Tiny House Festival this year. That was a pretty awesome um, experience because we kind of turned it into a road trip and we uh, basically kind of lived out of this thing for like four days. So that was pretty awesome. And we had all our food, coolers and everything and it worked great. So plenty of space, plenty of room and this thing is a super versatile camper. Anyways, if you guys want to know a little more information about how we, uh, you know, manage to use this camper, sleep in this camper, go camping in this camper, and everything above, um, I did make a video of how we set this camper up and actually use this camper. Um, so that'll be in the cards in one of these corners. I think it's this corner right here. That'll be in the cards and I'll also be in the description below. So um, please check those videos out. I have a whole playlist of all the teardrop videos um, and in order from the first video to the last video so check these videos out because man there's nowhere else on YouTube you can go to find information like this about these campers so um, really you know check this channel out and uh, thank you guys for watching hope you guys are having a great summer I'm having a great summer school sucks so uh, enjoy summer break right now so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video by the way before I end this video thank you for all the support on the last video it was a bit different from what I normally post is about scouting um, my week at scout camp I'm glad you guys enjoyed that um, I enjoyed that video so I did see in the comments you guys want to see some more scouting videos so I'll see what I can do I am going to film at New Mexico in two weeks actually less than two weeks so I'll be filming that whole time there um, if you guys don't know what that is film my scout ranch it's a, it's a basically a 12 day backpacking trip in New Mexico um, and that's gonna be awesome so I'll be filming that whole thing so I know you guys are gonna want to see that and I can't wait to film that so thank you guys for really you know being open to some of the new content I'm putting on this channel not everything has to be about the the campers and the the tiny houses so I'm glad you guys want to see what else I do outside of the tiny house um, stuff so thank you guys so much for all the support in the last video I really do appreciate it